are the German conquerors, the men Hitler once promised a place in the victory parade through Moscow. Now his promises come true, but not as he intended. The display is under Russian management. The soldiers, 60,000 of them, are captives. Their destination is not glory, but a prison camp. While this unkempt mob shuffles by, the Muscovites remain impassive. They show their contempt by silence, as 19 captured German generals slouch along at the head of their broken armies for the last time. The feelings of these Russians go too deep for outward expression. Everyone has his personal account with the men who have ravaged their land and ordered the massacre and torture of their fellow countrymen. Here they are, goose-stepping no longer, but crushed and dispirited. A living testimony to the degradation of Germany's professional killers. Disarmed and dejected, the Germans don't bother even to keep in step. Their fighting power has gone, and with it their last vestige of self-respect. Along the Moscow roads, which were to have been the scene of their triumphal march, Red Army men with fixed bayonets are an ever-present reminder of their shame. After the cavalcade of German defeat has passed, Moscow makes its most subtle gesture of contempt. It's water carts to remove the last lingering stain from the streets.